Welcome to Science Fiction and Fantasy Network. Today I'm talking to Devon Murray. He is best known for being a middle malarkey in Angela's Ashes in 1999. That's what you're best known for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and also some obscure uh, small film called Harry Potter. Yeah. You know, a couple of people may have been, yeah. Uh, you were quite young when you got started in acting. Uh, where did it come about? Were you acting in school? No, I say when I was about five, six years old, I used to love singing and dancing. So my, I asked my mum to set me up in a, an agency. So I went in and I done singing, dancing, and then my very first day, I got my very first audition. So we went off to the audition and I got the part. So it was my first day in there, I got my audition. My first audition I got, and I thought, this is great. I always thought everything was going to be that easy. It kind of went from there then, going from different agencies as I got older. And then Angela's Ashes was a pretty good, like, great movie back in Ireland. And then Harry Potter came along. And you worked with quite a number of different directors as you were growing up. You know, you went from Chris Columbus to Alfonso. Like, did you notice big changes in the way the, sh the, the, the ship was being run? Oh, completely. Like, from Chris, he kind of started off, everything was magical and getting everybody comfortable with each other. How he worked was completely different to everybody else. And then Alfonso comes in. And he's just a crazy Mexican and just, let's get everything done. Everything was, like, it was great. I, I loved Afonso. He was fantastic. He was real, uh, I don't know how to put it, he was just such an imagination. It was just crazy. And, yet, like, you could always see the differences. And then Mike Neal came on, David. So yeah, there was differences between every single one of them, which is great for all of us. But it's been so young getting to work with so many different directors. We were always learning from those of course, the other actors as well. Did you learn much from uh, the more veteran actors that you were working with at the time? Yeah, well, you kind of, we all watch in awe while they're doing their thing. And then if we do something wrong, they always say, well, look, if you, maybe if you try this, if you try that, go outside for 10 or 15 minutes, do this, do that. And it always worked for us, so. If it works for them, we're going to listen. You, uh, of course, Seamus, uh, his best friend was Dean. Uh, yeah. So working with uh, Alfred Enoch, uh, did you develop uh, an off-screen friendship as well? Yeah, like myself and Alfie were great friends. Like from day one, all the cast, we all clicked together on for the read-through. That was the very first day we met everybody. And from the first day to the last day, we were all such great friends. Seamus and Dean, uh, of course, uh, a very popular uh, pairing on the internet. And of course, when gay marriage became legal in Ireland, you tweeted out about this. Were you aware that fans were so uh, happy with uh, this particular pairing of your character? Yeah, I've heard it so many different times over and over again. So when the gay marriage was passed in Ireland, I was like, I had to do it. So. So uh, I understand, like, uh, after Harry Potter's uh, been and gone, uh, you raise horses now, is that true? Yeah. Well, but how did that come about? Uh, I kind of started acting really for, so I could pay for my horses. I loved the acting and everything, but it was great to be able to make money and go off and do another thing that I love. So we were able to get a couple of horses and keep myself busy. So that, that's probably my main passion now, is the horses. So uh, is there anything else coming up for you? What's next for you? Uh, well, I'm kind of concentrating back at home with the yard and see how things go with that. And there's one or two different things in the pipeline over in the States. So fingers crossed that. Stay tuned. Yeah, exactly. Fingers crossed. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. It's been an absolute pleasure. Cheers. Thank you.